Good afternoon. Happy New Year to everyone. Today is December 31st and this is a little review of my latter half of 2022 diamond painting completions. Uh, this one here, it's a picture on an iPad because it's hanging upstairs in my dining room and I love it. It's from Craftably and it was um, 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters. It had pretty gel or gems in it and, I, and some AB drills and I absolutely love the quality and the beauty of the kit. I had to frame it and it's now hanging in my dining room. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so in no particular order, here are other completions for the year. This one is called What Child Is This? by Diamond Art Club. And it's a Mandy Manzano. It's got a lot of pretty shimmery ABs and I had a lot of fun doing it. As I said, these aren't in any particular order, more by size than anything. Uh, this next one is called Remembrance and it's from Dreamer Designs. It was my first round kit from Dreamer Designs. And again, it had, I think, nine ABs in this one. And I really enjoyed doing that. A very, very shimmery, lovely, lovely canvas. The next one is a Maker's Mark or Mark. Anyway, it's the Michaels brand of diamond painting that they had out this Christmas. Uh, fairly good price, especially with the coupon. And although it looks like there's a lot of black, it was quite confetti-ish and I enjoyed doing it. Didn't take horribly long because it's round drill. This was from Spell Queen. It may look like a duplicate from another video because I did this picture twice. This was the Spell Queen version and uh, probably not licensed, but very beautiful. It's square drills. This is the Hobby Lobby um, Diamond Art Club Retro Santa Little Eve. Um, it came out at Hobby Lobby. Took a trip to the States on a whim one Tuesday morning in November and got a hold of this, plus the other ones, which is uh, Love is Blind, a little puppy in a stocking. But I haven't done that one yet. Uh, this was beautiful. It had the, um, they call them electro drills, these gold drills that are, um, that are around the perimeter. Um, this one here came from diamondartstudio.co.uk and it's an advent calendar, which was created by Rebecca at Admore Zest in conjunction with Samantha at diamondartstudio.co.uk and we worked on it every day in December, uncovering a different uh, advent date as we went. I have created a little frame that when I frame this, a little frame can move from date to date as, uh, as the Christmas season progresses. And that's a project for 2023 season. This was a mystery diamond painting. All I knew it was winter themed and I was surprised when I saw that it was uh, so many orange and yellow uh, drills, but I really enjoyed doing it. It's square, of course, as uh, most mysteries are. And yeah, so I really, I really enjoyed doing that. Um, making a bit of a mess here. On the floor are my portfolios for stashes and works in pro um, completed works that I'm not actually framing. And I make them out of well, Jenny Craig packaging and or the large um, shipping boxes from uh, Home Depot and or Staples. Anyway, getting to the smaller non-licensed ones that I have completed. We've got Starry Night Sunflowers from Amazon. This is a Diamond Dots Partial. So this is not drilled, but that is a lovely orchid. And it came in a set of two from Michaels. This was a set of four beach scenes from um, Amazon. And those are sandpipers, a special bird to me. I absolutely adore doing this one. This is uh, a desert scene, and although it looks like it's quite blocky, it's not. It's a nice mix of confetti and color blocking, so I enjoyed doing that. Um, some more Amazon finds here, as well as some others. I have them in my big portfolio books. This is Pansies. It was uh, recommended by Nancy on our Facebook group, and I enjoyed doing it. A little dollar store project of a Canadian flag. 
This is, came in a set of six. I've only done the one, but I enjoyed working on it from Amazon. This is a set of Beach 30 by 30s that uh, you'll see a couple more of in here. Sun and Waves in kind of a stained glass format. Another of the Beachy Rock ones. This was, I think, from DP Clubs and it's a square uh, poppy uh, 30 by 30, which was fun and, and uh, pretty to do. This one, I think I might have talked about. It's called Bird Frog Tulip, not many of which are immediately apparent, but that's okay. This one came from a Chinese company and it's square drills and just a bunch of abstract hearts and I enjoyed doing that. Let me get into some loose ones here. This was a little Ukraine tribute canvas. It's um, square drill, yep, and I loved doing that. Beautiful colors. Uh, this was called, I don't know, Mediterranean Bougainvillea door. It's fun to do. Uh, a ripoff from a Diamond Art Club um, artwork, um, obviously from Amazon. And uh, it's Christmas, uh, Santa and the Starry Night. That was the gift along with this one from Percy in our diamond painting group on Facebook at a, as a Christmas gift exchange. So I had fun doing that and thinking of uh, our diamond painting friends. This is a little Diamond Art Club one. I so enjoy doing that. The shimmer is incredible and it's round drill. Um, it's called Not a Care in the World. It was fun, but uh, I found the training wheels, the circles around the round drills, um, a little more apparent than I would like. And so there are places where they show through. I got this at HomeSense by a company called Kaiser and it's called uh, a mandala and i had a lot of fun doing that that worked out very quickly i uh, also got another one from them and they have quite a few and this is from diamondart.ca square drill love doing that you can see the shimmer of the ab drills there it wasn't until i posted it on facebook and someone said oh i love that the bird has its own cup of cocoa and i didn't even notice that as i was doing it just goes to show you the uh, beauty of diamond painting is definitely from afar. I uh, just finished this this week, uh, Amazon Sunflowers. Um, it only had 14 colors, but it's beautiful and vivid and I loved doing it. And the last one I have to show you is Abstract Heart and it came from Everyday E-Crafts or DP Clubs, one of those Chinese companies. Anyway, thank you for uh, bearing with me for almost eight minutes. Uh, that's it for 2022. Thanks for watching. Bye.